What's going on everyone? Welcome to a new video. Today we're learning why this one powerful tool can make your photos amazing and it's really simple and really easy to use. Let's get right into it. So first I have a photo of me here and if I put it back to its normal settings, so before I edited it, and then you can see it's, it's bland, it's whatever, blah, 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 whatever. So uh, this is edited obviously, so you'll see all my settings are there and all that. But if I turn the vignette off, you can see, okay, it's normal, but we kind of lose something there. We lose the focus of it drawing the eye into whatever the subject is. So in this case, me. So if I put the vignetting even a little bit, it starts drawing your eye into the person that's there. So if I put it more, you get this really cinematic look and it kind of softens the outer layers, the outer edges of the photo. So especially if it's a darker photo, sometimes it actually adds into it. So it looks kind of like a, almost like a tunnel or it just, it just really draws your eye in. So obviously if you go all the way, it's really dark, but this is not the best thing to do in my opinion. But if you have a, a light vignette, it looks really cool and you get amazing quality. And the cool thing is, especially with Lightroom or if you want to do some Photoshop, um, you can go the opposite way. You can go and make it white. So if you really want the airy effect, the a very light, a light effect, this is much better to do. So all you have to do is drag it the other way. You can go all white again. But honestly speaking, I prefer the darkness one because shadows are easier to work with in my opinion than the white part. Um, but it's your choice on what you want to do. So this is what, something with color. So if I scroll down to some of my other photos, uh, this is not this one, sorry. Uh, this is one of me at a structure. So you can see it's pretty colorless. So if I, this is before, this is after. So if you turn the vignetting off, it looks cool. It looks kind of like an iPhone picture, I'm not gonna lie, but you lose that focus uh, in the photo. So if we vignette it, you start seeing how it darkens all this outer edge and it looks really cool. Um, and personally, in my opinion, it levels up your photography game immensely. So we, if we do more portraits, for example, me again, before, after, let's turn the vignette off. It's, some people prefer this, but I prefer the vignette. So cinematic look draw it in a bit, it really draws your eye in. So it's a really simple and really easy thing to do. And it, it can work with either colorful photos, colorless photos, and even your photography for products and other things. It's really helpful and it's a, something I've been using a lot more recently. And it's really, in my opinion, leveled up my game for photography. So if you really like this quick tutorial, please let me know down below, subscribe if you liked it and hit the like button. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Peace out, bye.